crime, drugs, gangs, fears of getting shot. That's some of the most common themes people who, not from Inglewood, associate with the neighborhood. But some local residents are hoping to change that with What's Good in Inglewood, the radio segment that's hosted on WKKC-FM. The segment highlights some of the good things happening around the community. And one day I decided, you know, hey, can I do a segment, you know, five minute segment, you know, weekly about what's good in Inglewood, just another way to push out to not just the residents, but the media, that there's good in Inglewood. Rashana Baldwin, who's a graduate of DePaul's journalism program, hatched the idea when she became fed up with local coverage of her neighborhood. From there, she reached out to Harold Lee Rush, longtime Kennedy King faculty member and radio show host, who gladly allowed Baldwin to host her segment on his show. And so that's the kind of spirit that, that this segment is, uh, 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 is uh, trying to do, to create the kind of energy that allows people to say, well, yes, there's some negative things going on, but there's a lot of positives, and we should give that just as much mm -hmm. attention as the negative. So not only are kind of foreign neighborhoods considered more dangerous, but also there's a, a general kind of fear of young black men primarily that's really cultivated uh, through political rhetoric and through, through media representation. Forrest Stewart. Professor of Sociology at the University of Chicago says people often have negative stereotypes about neighborhoods like Inglewood, not only because of media coverage, but what he says are stereotypes backed by the government. If you can show that you're hard on crime, if you can decry and bemoan um, a crime problem, that you're going to get votes, right? And so what the problem is, um, is that we have these stereotypical images of criminals, right? And they happen to be young black men, usually. Now, Baldwin hopes that with her weekly radio series, that folks on the outside will change their negative perceptions about Inglewood, and people that live in Inglewood will see just how much good is happening in their neighborhood. I've gotten emails from people outside of the community saying, I wish I lived in Inglewood, I live in Roseland. And I was like, you know what? I get that Inglewood is on fire. I get that everyone is paying attention to Inglewood, but you could do the same thing in your community. It just starts with volunteering and reaching out to um, different organizations. So it, I think that the, that the real benefit of this, if, if, it can, if we can use this opportunity, right, to leverage it to get people from outside of Englewood interacting with people in Englewood, then we can begin a kind of honest dialogue and display about, you know, the great things that are going on in Englewood. In Inglewood, I'm Charles Jefferson, reporting for the Columbia Chronicle.